I right, then let's pick it right back up with our little blue fella right here. He's he's kind of worried about things because he can't get out of the level because he don't know how to open the door. Because when he gets a key, well, the door don't open. So what we need to do is fix that. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to add something that uh, I'll, I'll just call triggerables. So basically, uh, it'll be, uh, I'm going to add a directory called triggerables. And these little fellers, you'll be able to trigger them from other places, I guess, pretty much. Well, I'll, I'll let, you'll see what I mean. Well, first I want to, triggerable is going to be a lot like a base pickup, or regular pickup. So I'm going to open that scene, and I'll save that scene as a base triggerable. Ain't that smart? I don't have to do as much work that way. Triggerable. So there's my base triggerable, and let's rename this to triggerable. Like that right there. And I want to remove the script from it because we're not going to utilize that script anymore. And then additionally, we're going to come over here and we're going to change the layer to trigger because these is triggers. This is these triggerables now. See that right there? In addition, we want to add a triggerable script. And we'll call it base triggerable because there'll be some things that we want to do. So we'll create that. Now, a triggerable, I feel like, needs to have a name. So we'll call it a tag. So anytime somebody wants to trigger this fella, he has to give it a tag name. And what we'll do is if the tag.length is equal to zero, in other words, there ain't no tag, or tag is not equal to the tag name that is given to us, then we'll just return. Otherwise, we will call on triggered. And I'm gonna put an underscore there, because what we'll do with this is we'll say the following. We're gonna that's basically gonna be kind of like an internal function. So on triggered, and then we'll for this base class we'll say um, need implementation of on triggered in file percent s, and then we'll say oh that's a big s. We want a little big, little big one. Yeah, file name. So now we'll get a at least a, a warning when we get triggered and we haven't overridden this method right here. Pretty simple, pretty simple, I know. So what we want to do is uh, add, we want to add this thing to a group and we're going to add this called triggerables. We'll just call it triggerable. So that's what the, that's the name of the group. So we're going to be able to trigger this little fella from other places. See. And then we'll just trigger whatever name that we want to trigger. We'll, we'll trigger it. All right. So now we have a triggerable. Uh, that's, that's a basic part of the script. So let's, uh, let's head on in and go ahead and derive and get a new inherited scene from the base triggerable. And we're going we're gonna to save that immediately as DOA because we want to make a DOA. So here's our DOA. I'm going to call it DOA. And then over here in the tag, I'm going to call it DOA. And we will come over high and we will find the DOA somewhere. There's the DOA. There's the closed DOA. And let's add some animations. We'll add a closed animation. Or a, yeah, closed. That's easy enough. And we will set that length. It doesn't have to be whatever, tenth of a second. And we will add the current frame to this right here. And then we will duplicate this. 
and we will rename that duplication as open. And then we will come right over high and we'll come up here and we'll grab that open door and then clickety clack that and now we have the open door. So now we got a couple animations. Now what I think is we've got these trigger or they got these pickups. Now for the key at this point I think what we'll do for now is we were we're gonna we're gonna we'll uh we'll grab all this stuff through the game and you can see I already I've already played around with this. So basically um what we're gonna do is we're gonna check to see if that item name is equal to a key. And if it is then we're just going to uh we're gonna get get tree dot call group and that group is going to be called triggerable and it's going to be trigger and the name we want to trigger for the key will be door we can uh, think we can look into maybe have this way is kind of nice because everything's centralized but we can look into maybe changing this such that um, uh, that's done from a key script so that we don't have to come through here. But right now it's connected, sort of the game is kind of the, the, the conduit through which all of this stuff happens, which is fine for now. Well, again, you know, we're flexible here and we can, we, can, we can roll with the punches, you know. So one other thing we want to do is we want to come into the level and we want to add, I've already done it right here, you see this. I've added the door index into the uh, tile map. That's the tile the door is. And so we're gonna need to come in here and for the door, we're gonna need to delete it and create an instance from that tile map. And we're gonna create a door and we'll need to come in here and add door to that. And we should probably also finish our door by adding a collision object like this. There we are. So that's our collision object. And remember this is the base triggerable that we have on it right now. So I want to run this and let's just verify that this stuff works. Oh yes, we have not gone into the base level and added our DOA scene into there and that probably is why we erred out. Okay, there we go. Looks like we have, do we have a DOA? Yeah. Oh, and additionally, I added, I'll tell you what, I did a couple things off camera. I am so very sorry. I added a, an additional node called triggerables. And what I want to do with that is I wanted to, instead of adding the door to items, I wanted to add it to triggerables just to keep these things separated and whatnot. So if we get this key, if we have done it correctly, let's see, triggerable got that trigger tag name and of course well no triggerable base pickup we'll go back to the game triggerable trigger door so base triggerable trigger and then door and let's go check out our door again make sure that his tag is correct and it is so let's hop on in here and let's make sure we got in here real quick by, by printing a T because T's are cool. You know, they cross and stuff. Yes, we did. And there you go. There it is. Something strange happened there. I don't know what the deal was, but it, it works. So we did get called there. See, doom. Need implementation of on triggered and triggerable doors dot scene. Okay. That's what we want. So then for our DOA, 
we want to delete this and add a script that is derived from the base triggerable. Yes, and we create it. Now we're deriving from the base triggerable. And with that, we will override a function on trigger, I believe it is. And we'll print trigger. And with that also, we will want a variable called open. Here's open. And that will be equal to false starting out. And we'll say uh, if not is open, then we will play the open animation. Because we want our dollar to open, you know? We want it to open up. And then we will say is open equals T R U E. T R U E. Um, and additionally, in our base triggerable, we want to do this. But let's check that base triggerable because it may actually be connected in the. No, it's not. Okay, good. So I want to, I want to take basically this same function here and do the same. for our base triggerable. So we will do this. And we'll say on player entered. And then we'll we'll grab this function. We'll do the same deal for this one as this other one. So basically what we want to do is we, we want to make sure that the player or actually the, the programmer, that would be me, knows to override this, you see. Let's check this and make sure this is working like I think it should. First of all, let's see if our trigger will open the door now. It does not at this point, but that's okay. Let's see. Okay, we do get that. That's good. That's very good, very good. And I think what happened is we didn't. Yeah, that's what we need. I had that wrong. That function name was wrong. So now. Oh yeah, and the other thing is since we changed this, uh, the door probably, yeah, the tag just got reset because we changed the script. So we need to reset that tag, and then we should get a trigger whenever we the door should open, and it does. That's lovely, isn't it? And let's see if we get, okay, we do get that. So now all we need to do is come back in here and go to base triggerable and grab this for the door. And we'll basically say if is open, let's do this. If we're not open, then we're just going to return. Otherwise, print to do next level. Okay, well, let's see if this works. So we'll walk over to the door first, and then we'll go get the key and come back. Walk over to the door, nothing, which is good. And then come over here, trigger. So the door opened. And then next level. Okay, so the door is now open. We can get rid of this. So when we come when we come back next time, we will uh, cause the door to make the game load the next level. And we may actually look into some maybe fading out uh, for scenes and such. And so uh, we will do that next time. And thanks for watching. Until then.